Hello and welcome back to the Experts of the Road to Glory series where we're out for revenge. In the first leg of our cup tie against States Nice, despite having all the chances we were unable to score against the evil Marco Ginis. So, for this second leg, we are going to make him feel pain. Anyway, this is the team we've gone with to face States Nice today. We're going to have a 4 5 1 formation with Connolly and Goal, a back four of Van der Kreese, new signing Marcus Agenfjord. Camera and Delia. A midfield of Tassau Etta, Hesslink, Hansman, Nezim, and Kivyakovsky, and Zubeldi up front of his own. States Nice meanwhile going with a 4 4 2 formation with Denise and Gol, a back four of Resende, Salome, Natalino, and Gaspar. A midfield of Castinha, Directo, Contente, and Bastos, and a front two of Raposa and Nebrega. This is our first home game of the season, so let's go live to the supermassive black hole for the match. The captains for this match are Sergei Kivyakovsky and Flavio Natalino. And the referee is just in time who our heroes only just turned up to this match. Well, that's good timing, isn't it? Knights are in the red strip while States Knights are in the blue strip. And this game will get underway any moment now. And we're underway! And this is the home team that have the ball here. With Ray Tatao Etta passes to Envenezem and there's a card here for the Knights. And Sergei Kivyakovsky is the yellow card of a dangerous play. Hmm. Anyway, we've got charts here in the 30th minute. Edmund Hansman with a thick header on goal, and it's high above the goal. He was very close there. Anyway, we're setting down here. And we've got another chance now. Half of a curl shot by Sergei Kivyakovsky. And it's easy for Marco Denise, the evil Marco Denise. Rather worryingly, we are still yet to score a single goal in this game. But 27 minutes in, we've got to Nezim. Nezim plays to Heslink, and there's a card here for. It's Gennario Gaspar for the States Nice with the yellow card of a brutal player and we've got a free kick in a dangerous position, this could be very promising. And it's Envidez and he kicks him straight on goal. And scores! Finally, really in this cup tie. Envidez has given Knights of Sardinia the lead direct from the free kick. What a time to conjure up that magic. We have another chance here. As a missing shot by Andrew Zivaldia. And it's missed the goal by Hare's Breath. And the ball has come out to Hessling. He passes it. To Envin Esden who has a diving header and it's easy handled by Denise. There's a fast paced game here. Nezim had a chart from the header there and it's still near the power here in the breakaway. And it's Endurance Valley who tries to hit the ball through the keeper's legs and he narrowly misses. Still, our fans are at somewhat eased now with our 1 0 lead in this game and if the 45th minute is the end of the first half, 1 0 to the Knights with about 6 chances compared to State Dice's, um, I don't know, 0. But that's a good sign anyway as we got the second half underway. Nothing so far has happened in this second half. Um, uh, we're in a chance here now. Edmund Hansman with a thick header on goal. Doubles the lead. Edmund Hansman scores his first goal for Knights of Sardinia. He may be 35 but he seems to be able to do the business for us. That's a great sign. 2-0 and we finally have both our first goals of this season. 65 minutes played and it's a card for Sticks nice with Donato Donato Director, yellow card for arguing, sorry about that. And immediately we have another chance here with Dyke headed by Envenism. And it's easy for Denise. Denise has proven to be a very good goalkeeper, I must say. He's saved most of our chances despite us completely dominating this this tie in general, really. Denise has been the hero somewhat, but we have a free kick in a dangerous position here. And it's Envenism, straight on goal again. And he now he misses. Well he's Really plugging the hole that was left by Gabriel Gould's retirement, but the power head on goal by Endo Zubeldia and he scores! Endo Zubeldia makes it 3 0 and that's game over really. This is probably it. States Nice are out of the ultimate league cup and Knights of Sardinia move on to the second round and there is full time. 3 0 and that is the end of the game. The man of the match for the Knights of Sardinia is Sergei Kivyakovsky and six nicest man of the match with Gennario Gaspar, but what a win for us. We should have won this game, but States Nice really made us work for this victory, so well done to them. Don't know what the first was all about really, we managed to breeze past them with relative ease. I guess you could say States Nice will have a claim to fame now after this, but I wouldn't be too concerned about our future. We've still got a lot of games to go and most of them will be very hard games in Division 5 against much tougher opponents than States Nice. States Nice are far from our worst opponent that we'll face this season. But anyway, we've got our second round of the cup now, so we'll find out our cup opponents for the second round soon enough. But first, let's check out the team of the week. 
The team of the week this time around is Akko Vasic, Dave FC. A back four of Lawrence Donaldson, Stephen Wolf Suckers, Arthur Nicholson, Vija Venom, Carl Lodrich, Archangel, and Ida Berger, FC Empire. A midfield, Jimmy Kalinsic, The Revision of Para, Terry Draper, Ultimos FC, Marcus Astle, Sinja Bakau, and Ulfa Goodmanson, Tudor Transport FC. And a front two of Sedan Nas, Master City, and Malcolm Fleeting, Kalandrak SCF. Right then, let's find out who our opponents in the second round of the cup are. Sean's Beasts. While they are a very beastly looking squad after all, but with an average age of 31, you would imagine that this will be another Pasigal case in a team that is much weaker than it really should be. 31 is way too old, they'll really struggle I think, so it's a very winnable tie and we should be able to progress to the third round. But that's for another day. On the next episode of Knights of Sardonia, Expert of Road to Glory, we'll be taking on the King Punks again. Join us for that episode.